Chapter 9, the .git folder. In the top level folder of our repository, Git has created a .git subfolder. This folder is where Git will write all of the data in our graph. It's where we will store metadata and anything else that is required for Git to do what it does. There is no database, there is no server. It's all just a bunch of files in this mysterious .git folder. When working with Git, you never venture into this folder. Doing so may not only irreparably mess up your repository, it's also not required. But, out of curiosity, let's have a look anyway. If you open this folder, you'll see a bunch of files and folders. The most important of them are the head file, all uppercase. The head file keeps a reference to where we are right now. If we think of our graph as a river, it's the equivalent of a you are here marker on the map of that river. The objects folder is where Git will store our commit objects. It contains two folders, objects info and objects pack. Both of them are uh, empty now, right now, but that will change soon enough. The refs folder is where Git will store info about the various ways in which we decided to branch and split our river of data or graph. It also contains two subfolders, refs heads and refs tags, both of which are also empty for now. Let's not worry too much about this structure. Once again, you rarely, if ever, need to venture into the .git folder. However, seeing how its content changes when we run various commands can help us understand what Git is doing behind the scenes. So we will refer to these files and folders from time to time.